dog, get out of it. Here's the bucket sluice concentrator before I put it together. You can see there's the bucket sluice in the middle. And I've got my pump, which is just a cheap little submersible sump pump. Now into a piece of plywood, a piece of hose. I do have a shutoff valve on there, so if I run it with the battery, I have to vary the flow with the shutoff valve. But I will be running it here with the DC power source. Alright, I've classified my three high banker clean outs through an eighth inch mesh, one eighth to maybe a tenth, and uh, now I'm starting to feed it into the bucket sluice concentrator. I'm using a serving spoon just right out of the old dining room silverware set. That's my preferred measure although you can put in a little bit more a little bit less like I said the good thing about the bucket sluice is that it's uh, pretty uh, has a wide range of functional settings it's not that critical to adjust now I'm hoping uh, there's some gold right there little piece of gold. Now, you'll see that gold. Keep your eye on that. There it goes. It just sank. There's sunk. It sunk into that liquid bed of gravel. It's popcorning around down there with live action. Now, if I were out in the sunlight, I think we'd see a lot of specks in here. I'm not really able to see too much right now but I'm sure it's in there there's a couple going down I went ahead and kept a different view here just so you can see again how I'm feeding the bucket sluice concentrator I like this can because it's big it holds a ton of material at least for a micro miner it's a lot of material there now you can see here like I said, this is three clean outs, so you can pan through that, but it would take you a while. There's a, a lot of brown sand in there still, and you have to get all that out of there. Now I'm going to do the clean out of the bucket sluice here. I'm going to get spray head on my kitchen sink. This works pretty easily. Thank you. 